be going to start class now. And what I've got here in front of me are the two anti-pesto recipes that are attached to the first recipe, the pickle relish platter. This is the pickle relish platter here, or the diff just a different vegetable pickle, quick pickles. I made them this afternoon when I came in. Um, and uh, so I made those first, this quick pickle with the zucchini and the celery and the onions and the radish and the carrots, um, because there's, um, it takes time, it takes 45 minutes of sitting in chilled water for that recipe. So I got that one started first. The, the zucchini pickle that I did is sitting in the refrigerator. And that looks like this. And that's been, covered, that's been sitting in brine, cold brine, for a while. Um, so the only real pickle pickle that I'm actually going to make tonight is the Japanese uh, pickled cauliflower. And because that one really is a quick pickle, but like all pickles, they're better the next day. And the only pickle that I didn't make was the broccoli pickle because um, I didn't think I was going to have time to do that one today. So you guys make it at home. And that's a really, really good pickle. I love that pickle. I used to work at a Chinese restaurant and we had them nightly. Uh, it was what you do with the leftover stems from broccoli, you know. Um, so there's that. What I'm doing right now is I'm heating up the water for the cauliflower. And um, like I said, I'm going to do the cauliflower pickle first. And then what we're going to do is a um, quesadilla using the pickled squash, some jalapenos. I don't know how you guys are for jalapenos, if you're good with pickled jalapenos or not. If you're not, I'll leave them off. And then uh, that's in a, in a flour um, tortilla shell. Um, with cilantro and some sour cream and some cheese. Yum. Queso, queso chihuahua. This is a melting cheese. Really, really good. You get that down in the, in the cheese department. Not here in the imported cheese department, strangely enough, but over on the wall where the regular craft cheeses are. So we'll make that in just a little bit. So I'm getting the water boiling here. I'm going to go ahead and cut the cauliflower. Get that going. Using one of our pretty knives. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. So I'm just going to make a, just going to get some cuts of the cauliflower away from the core. This, um, this cauliflower uh, pickle recipe comes from the Coca-Cola company. So I didn't use our store brand cola. I did use their cola. I thought it might get weird if I did something else. So What? No, unless you're a Pepsi person. No, I'm a Coca-Cola. Okay. <laughs> we were big Pepsi people at the house, and then we stopped drinking sodas altogether. Yep. We did that a while ago. So this is my nod to, uh, and now Coke actually has this great um, new recipe. It's called Coke Life, L-I-F-E, and it's made with um, cane sugar and stevia. So it's half the calories, and it doesn't have a, a weird, you know. Yeah, well, this doesn't have that di diet aspartame. 
Yes, ma'am. You can go right to McDonald's and get giant fries, I know. Right, so this is a so simple recipe. It's just green peppers and cauliflower. Um, really simple. And what I like to do with this recipe is make a double batch of the syrup of the brining liquid um, because it never seems to quite fill up my jars if I don't do that. So. When you're making this pickle at home, if you're so interested, make a double batch of the, of the, um, of the brine. So you'll have plenty to cover. God bless you. Plenty to cover all the vegetable. Okay, so this is heating up. And it takes um, two minutes in this for you put the hot the boiling water over the vegetables and let them sit for two minutes while you're making the brine and I'm gonna go ahead and make the brine turn this on and the brine again is three quarters of a cup of soda coca-cola from the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. So I'm gonna use two three-quarter cups because I'm gonna double the batch. You have no idea what I was finding whenever I was going through looking for um, cola pickles, Coke pickles. Oh, I, had, I got the funniest things you've ever seen. Okay, and next is six tablespoons of wine vinegar. We have wine vinegar downstairs. And then we have a quarter cup of sugar. And then we have, this is kosher, this is a kosher salt. And the kosher salt goes in. Pretty dang simple. And you just want all that to melt. I'm going to let that just, it's just got to heat up. It doesn't have to do anything, but this water has to boil. So I've got to wait for this water forever to boil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start the recipe for the quesadilla. So the, the like I said, the, uh, the syrup, the brining syrup is, above, is warming up over here. It's super simple, just Coke and wine vinegar and sugar and salt. That's all there is to it. And then, um, so I'll go ahead and start the next page, which is the spicy squash pickles. I made the, uh -huh. right. I made the spicy squash pickles <laughs> the same time I was making the relish tray because these, um, you have to salt. You know, you salt, you salt them like you do cucumbers sometimes. Um, to draw out a lot of the liquid uh, over a wire rack on a cookie sheet and it's salted. So all the, a lot of the moisture was drawn out and then it was rinsed. And then there's a Vidalia onion in there and the, um, just a little, uh, I think there's just red pepper. That's all there is in that. Um, and so I'm gonna make a quesadilla out of that. And this is when I'm gonna turn on the cooktop for this. Okay, so those, the recipes or the, or the ingredients for the appetizers are underneath the recipes for the pickle. So this one is um, pickled summer squash quesadilla. That's what I'm going to make right now. Um, this is from our friends at Southern Living. Which I absolutely adore. It's 
So this, these are the, t these are um, the small taco sized flour tortillas. And then uh, the recipe calls for the shredded ch uh, pepper jack, but I prefer um, the chihuahua cheese or um, just a, the melted, oh, it's just so good. <laughs> yes, this is really, really good. So you sprinkle some of this cheese on just half of the tortilla. Do you guys like quesadillas? Do you make quesadillas at home? All right, and then this gets topped with some of this spicy pickled squash that I made today. So this is, again, this is, uh, this is zucchini and yellow squash and Vidalia onions, nice, beautiful, sweet onions, and red pepper flakes. And kind of put them neatly on the, on the taco shell. I'm waiting for my pan to heat up. This is a great pickle, by the way. I love it. Okay. If you like squash. Yeah, so this is, this, this, we talked about this a little bit. This has the maple syrup in it. So this squash has a little bit of maple syrup in it, the cider vinegar and the crushed red pepper. Now I put a little bit of cilantro. Anybody have an issue with cilantro? Everyone okay with cilantro? Some people really don't like cilantro, so I just want to ask. Let's put a little on. Such a nice fresh smell. And then just a tiny little bit of jalapeno. Cilantro is a, it's a, it, it's used a lot in uh, Mexican and Chinese cooking. Mexican and Chinese cooking, it's like a, it's like a parsley, so it's an herb. Um, the seed um, is coriander. So coriander is used a lot in Indian cooking. Um, cilantro is used in... I've never seen it in a jar. I've never seen that. But cilantro has a really nice lemony flavor to it. All right. So I'm going to drop a little oil on this skillet. This water is boiling, so I'm going to put it on the vegetables very carefully. Mm. 
And kind of slowly and just let it sit for two minutes. Heck yeah! You can can all you want to. Yeah, but I mean, your recipe. Sure, you can. You can can. Yeah, these are. You can can them if you want to keep them. Yes. So once you've finished boiling your water, <laughs> you can actually put the pot on top of the quesadilla. So um, you can, or you can use another pan, or you can use a press. If you have like a George Foreman at home, you can use that for quesadilla making. You can use a waffle iron for quesadilla making. Makes for interesting looking quesadillas. Um, Probably flip it over in just a second. Thank you for mentioning that thing about the plate. I usually do use another pan, actually. <laughs> so I'm, I was happy. And this pot was hot. <laughs> so it was actually kind of grilling both sides of this. Okay. Now, guys, you saw I poured, poured boiling water into this glass bowl, but it's a tempered glass bowl, so. Don't try to, you guys know not to pour bo boiling water in a regular glass bowl. Because you'll hear that horrible, hideous pop. That's the syrup, and then you add the celery. So the celery doesn't get any of the blanching um, that the cauliflower and the um, peppers got. So this just gets tossed around. And that's it for these. And then you pour them into, um, pour them to your, into your jars and cover them. Are you guys hungry tonight at all? <laughs>